Um, I don't think that a lot of, um, of our team members realized how much, uh, how expensive it is to run the office, how, how big our overheads are and how scary it is for many of us uh, dentist practice owners to know that there's no ongoing income coming in and having to pay the team, having to pay the expenses. I mean, I, I'm talking to dentists who are uh, scared and, and terrified about losing everything because they don't have enough cash reserves to keep this going for a long time. Uh, but as long as we are in constant communication with one another and assuring each other that we are working together on getting through this, and um, I think it's gonna be very comforting to our team. Um, and so I recommend doing your daily huddles or, you know, mm -hmm. at least a couple of times a month, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, yeah. a couple of times a week, get together with your entire team and just, you know, let them know where you are. Uh, the laws are changing. My team is asking like, Hey, what's going to happen? I don't know. The laws are changing as we speak. And, and it's like, they're writing them in a language that is intentionally, uh, vague because they don't have all the answers. Right. So, yeah. Uh, so I feel like sometimes I read things and I'm like, do I have a reading comprehension problem suddenly or what's going on? But, but it, the truth is no one knows anything. So let's just let each other know that we care about each other, that we're thinking about one another. Now, another thing that we could be doing right now that I think is very important is, is recall and reactivation. All of us have full charts, uh, full cabinets. I hate to say word cabinets because hopefully most of our um, listeners are already. Yeah, most listeners. of our Zen people are chartless. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so so virtual cabinets uh, mm -hmm. full of treatment, full of unscheduled patients, patients who haven't been.